What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of NKU Sports Break. I'm so excited to be joined by Natalie this week. Natalie, how's your day going? Good. How are you, Carly? You know, not too bad. Tried to stay positive despite all of this icky rain. But <laughs> to just kind of go ahead and get everyone acclimated with each other, um, where are you from and what drew you to NKU? Um, I'm from I'm from the northern Kentucky area. It's Edgewood, Kentucky. So. Um, I always kind of thought I might go to NKU, but um, I didn't know if I wanted to stay this close. And as I got closer to my senior year, I realized that I did want to stay close because I'm kind of a homebody. So that kind of what drew me. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Then that's right where everything's always been. So since you were so local, um, what did your recruiting process look like? So Jason, he's like now our, uh, well, he was our assistant coach then, um, still is. He recruited me when I was like freshman year of high school. And that's when I just didn't know if I wanted to play in college or not. And then finally, when I realized like I wanted to play volleyball in college, I reached back out to him and it was really easy from there. The coaches are really, really easy to talk to and really open about the whole process. So it was kind of an easy decision in the end. No kidding. And so you talk about like being recruited as a freshman in high school and not kind of like knowing if you even wanted to play in college versus now you're three years into the whole ordeal. Um, how has the program just kind of changed and developed you since you started? Um, I would say like, it's kind of, they just teach you so many things. Not only like have I gotten so much better at volleyball but also just like with schoolwork the expectations like on our team are just a lot high like higher and they want us to only like do well in school first and then focus on volleyball so i think i mean that's another thing that drew me like they really want us to do well in school and do well in life and then they put volleyball in there so i would just say they want us to be better people <laughs> That's awesome. That's something that everyone always absolutely loves to hear. And so it sounds like you've got a lot to choose from just with it being so well-rounded. So this one might be a little bit of a tough one, but what's your favorite part about being on the team? Um, I would just say everyone's just really close. We all, I think with a smaller team, I mean, we have, we've had as little as 12 people and I think we all just like get to know one another, especially in the spring when we aren't really in season, we all like are spending so much time together. And I think that we all genuinely like each other. I mean, that's from my perspective, but I think everyone just enjoys like being together. And even when we're on our breaks, we all wanna like make time to see each other. That's awesome. Um, with such a close knit team like that, this one is probably going to be a much easier question. Um, what's a moment from last year that stands out to you? Um, I would definitely say winning the Horizon League. Um, it was so like cool because like everyone, it was just like a really cool experience because we had a lot of ups and downs last year, and I think the Horizon League was just like when everyone like kind of shifted their gear and we were just having fun. Like it wasn't. Um, there was no pressure. We just like were having fun together as a team. And I think that was the weird part. We weren't ever um, nervous or, I mean, obviously good nerves, but we just all had fun together and playing with each other. And we all still look back at it as like one of the best times here. So yeah, that's definitely it. <laughs> So to go from that kind of like on top of the world, just won the Horizon League, all that good stuff last year to wanting to be able to transition all of that to this year, but ultimately having fall sports be postponed. What did your guys' day to day look like? What's everybody up to? Um, well, I would say like an easy answer would be everything that just got flipped. So like right now we're kind of in our spring season. We're getting um, usually in the spring, we're getting stronger more weight room and like more individualized practices so i feel like that's kind of the way it is right now but um recently we've switched to team practices and i think it's good that everyone's back to playing with each other but um it's different because we're not used to going from, from christmas break to right into season so it's a, it's a very different but i think it's something that we all just have to get used to 
in this time. I feel like every single day something new comes out where like you think you have a plan and then the plan gets flipped and so we're all just kind of rolling with yeah. the punches here at this point. But on a little bit more of a positive note, um, what do you enjoy most about being an athlete at NKU? Um, I would say just like there's not we're kind of a smaller athletic program compared to other schools. So I would say like on a day-to-day -day basis, I really like when I see someone on campus, like I'll know who they are. I think that's like really special. Like everyone really knows who they are, at least their first name. And I think that's like really special because we all kind of makes us all even more as a close knit community on campus. Definitely. And when you've got a campus atmosphere that you love that much, it kind of makes things like graduation a little tricky because I understand that you guys have been extended another year of eligibility because of everything with COVID. And so I know as a junior, like this is something you're having to start to think about. Yeah. So do you know when you want to graduate and what your postgrad plans are looking like? Honestly, right now, I don't know. Um, I've kind of been thinking about the extra year eligibility. I mean, there's so many, many different options that you can go in. Um, but first, like I probably, um, like I've told my coaches, I'm going to focus on like what I want to do education wise. And then I'll kind of figure out the whole volleyball stuff because I know once it ends, I'll miss it. So it's a big decision. <laughs> Yeah, you guys have a, a lot to think about right now. So we'll end <laughs> on a little bit of a lighter one, a warm and fuzzy. I've asked everyone that's come on the show, what is your all-time favorite NKU athletics memory? Oh, I mean, I know I said the Horizon League, but I would also say just, um, I mean, basketball has won a few times when we're here. And um, at Victor's, we always kind of celebrate it. So I think it's just... Like I said before, a small community, we all get to celebrate together. And I would just say like, we all feel the victories as it won. So I think that's like really special. Absolutely. Well, Natalie, thank you so much for coming on the show. Everyone give NKU Women's Volleyball as well as NKU Norse a follow on social media to be able to keep up with all of our content as we head into winter and spring sports. Thanks, Natalie. Thank you.